Hello. How are you? How are you? I'm good. Hello, everybody. Are you holding up? Hello. Holding up? You're holding Absolutely. up? Absolutely. Okay, yeah. good. One leg. <laughs> One leg. <laughs> One leg. Right. Would it be like um, in prison? Well, I'm, there is no other prison that has rosé. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and what? Ice cream. Ice, Ice cream. cream. Are you serious? Cereal. Have you that ever had, is... have you ever had Talenti, the um, gelato? Uh, no. Oh, it's amazing. You're going to love it. Where did you buy that? You can get it at Walgreens. At Walgreens? Yes. Really? Oh, lovely. And once you, once you dive the spoon down and you it gets get, into you all, get all, all the layers. layers. Right. Yeah. And then of course, Rosé, you don't have to do that. But anyway, so we're just gonna hang oh, out. Oh, that's great. You and me and chat. Okay. I tend to not use my dishwasher and I've got what, like three plates and one pan and that's it, a knife and a fork. So what I do is I wash my dishes here, put them up here to dry. I open this up and I leave things on here to dry and in a couple of hours they're dry. What I didn't notice when I was standing here walking to go into the living room. Mind you, this rug was not here at the time. This was a new purchase. Right. So it was like so. And all your water, you had a lot of water right here. And so you walked. Right. Go ahead, reenact it without right. the wipeout. So I walked into yeah. the living room, tried to, I felt myself slipping, and I went down on my back, and I tried to grab a hold of something here to hold me up and couldn't do it. So I hit this part of my back. I don't have to tell you how painful. She's like 99 pounds on a good day, okay? So she hit the ground and snapped. Your, it was your L3. It was L3. I was just, yeah. you know, I was just reading the doctor's interpretation of what happened. You had edema. You had a uh, muscle strain. I, I've got an appointment with a doctor on Wednesday. So it's about a month now. I can put an update in the description portion of the video because we'll know this video comes out on Thursday and you're going to the doctor on Wednesday. Yeah, right, exactly. So we'll have we'll have yet <laughs> another update. It's like an update on the update. And on that note, let's have some wine and ice cream. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, let's have the wine first. We can say okay. the, the ice cream for um, dessert. There you go. Perfect. Okay. I'll do it. So your glasses are. Yeah. yeah. So she ran out immediately and bought this carpet, yeah. which was. So sweet, really. Well, I just don't I mean, want any more. Do you let me tell you what, let me tell you what happens. You're when you grow older, your children become your parents. Screw top of real class. <laughs> what? Nothing. Keep going. I'm your parent. And so she's become my mother. So yes. the minute this happened, I think the very next day she ran out and bought this. Rug. No way, I ordered it on Amazon like I do oh, the rest of my life. Order. Excuse me. Yes. That's right. Cheers. Right. Cheers. Thank Eating you. ice cream and drinking, drinking wine, wine at the same time. Who the hell eats that wine and ice cream? Are you kidding? Give me a break. We do. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, honest to goodness, I post. We yes, we're on. I post about you and what happens, and you get 4,000 responses. 4,000, yeah. probably more like. 40,000. Everybody is just worried sick about you and wondering how you're doing. But at least as you all saw from the beginning, she's mobile and can move about. And aside from these horrible sticking pains, at least you're functional, right? I'm functional. I'm, I'm functional on one side, right? And the others, it depends. What side are you functional I'm on? I'm functional right now on the right side. Last mm -hmm. week I was functional on the left side. What does that mean? That means that where the nerves are. So you mean your legs? And it goes from the hip down the leg. Now last week I had pain inside my left leg. And it is, I can't explain what kind of a burning, <laughs> an unbelievable burning, tingling, painful sensation. Is that why the doctor, because everybody said, 
why did the doctor ask her about her libido? So is that why he asked because of the numbness that you were feeling? Yeah, because what happens is it goes, um, the pain will radiate up to, it Yeah, it goes in exactly into the groin area. And some people have problems with um, going to the bathroom. I love the fact that he was worried about your sex life though. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. I'm going back to him in two days. <laughs> For what reason? <laughs> what, well, it's a follow up. It's a follow up <laughs> checkup. It's a checkup. It's a checkup. Maybe. Right. And um, I can't wait to see what other questions might get asked. Well, you know, I'm really curious. To yeah. Know, be, Being sedentary be, is not good. You no, can't, be, you can't sit right. still. You have to move, but you got to be careful in what you do too. No, that's very true. Yeah. But first, first it was, um, first it was heat. Yeah, um, you went out. You bought me heating pads. You went out and bought me the heating pad exactly, yeah. which was fabulous. And then it was ice mm -hmm. bending over to a point where it was almost painful. Yeah, so, I so had you to, can't I do had, that. I had to stop. I was going to say, did right. the did the doctor say that you should be doing all of this? No, stuff? but the computer did. <laughs> So the computer doctor. <laughs> the, computer, the computer doctor did, right? <laughs> I do learn a lot from the computer. I really and truly do. I know do. you do. I just worry about and, what they're teaching uh, you. And I like this doctor. There's, there's Because he asked about your libido. No, there's, there's something about this little guy. He's got three more years to go before he retires. Oh, this is another in, doctor. This, this is this is the other doctor that I'm going to. This is a different doctor. He, he was your referring doctor. He's the referring doctor. Forget and about he, him. Back to your libido, because yeah. people are going to find that far more fascinating than the doctor who's retiring. But so are you comfortable saying how old you are? Um, I and, am. I am. And I shouldn't even have to say that because I, I think am. that we've, I think that we as women and as a society should never even have to say that, that we, it, it should just you be know, all accepting. That's true. That's absolutely right? true. And, and frankly, if I look like you, when I'm your age, I will be shouting it from the rooftop of this apartment building or wherever I'm, I am by then, because I think it's something to be incredibly proud of. So how old are you? Well, let me, let me tell you what happened. No, no, no. <laughs> okay. I want you all to know, December the 11th is my birthday. Yes, it is. Your? And I expect your? A, a lot of happy birthdays. Yes. And I will be 87. That's right. Now, when I went to the hospital, you have to fill out all these forms and applications, etc. So I filled everything out, and he looked at me, and he said, he no. said, no. He said, that can't be. Yeah. That's not true. I said, yeah, it's true. It's absolutely true. They couldn't believe it. Mm -hmm. So then one by one, because he went out into the hall <laughs> to where all the girls are and to the other doctors are, one by one, they kept, they all came in and one, and they took, you know, they have this, um, your chart at the end of the bed. Yeah. So they looked at the chart and then they looked at me and they said, no way. No, can't, it, it can't be. Are you serious? Are you really, what do you do? What have you done right. to, to look the way you look? And uh, I mean, I could have done a whole, I could have done a whole um, dissertation <laughs> while I was there at the hospital. <laughs> hey, you know, I'm talking to now doctors and nurses and I'm telling them how to be healthy, even though I came in <laughs> with a broken L3. Broken, right. <laughs> but I'm gonna show you. <laughs> <laughs> Where's that ice cream? <laughs> oh yeah, we have ice cream. I know. We have lots of delicious yeah, ice cream. Yeah, I got that one for you, because I know how you love you love all those different things. Here you things. go, baby. Thank you. That one's for you. What is that? It's green? It's mint. Chocolate mint. I got it. That oh, reminds me of... You twist, of, and then uh, there's the safe, the childproof lid. <laughs> <laughs> God forbid! Children should get into ice cream. <laughs> How did you do that? I don't know. How did you open that? Here. I can't do it. You need grip. Mm, there it is. There it is. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Okay. And it should have... She's got muscles. Well, She's got muscles. She works muscles. out. She works out very well. And not only that, she also does yoga. Yeah. Which is very important, by the way. Yep. That was a game changer for me. 
Here you go. Okay. And it's nice and soft, so you can get through all the layers. Okay, here's to ice cream mm. and, and wine. And chocolate. Wine. How oh, you, yeah, wine. wine. How do you like that for yeah. a combination? I know. Ice cream and wine. I, I, th I think that's a great combination. For your best interests. <laughs> she always does. Okay. It's awful. I know. God, it's really awful. Isn't it, though? Awful. Yeah. So, okay. Back to the conversation. No one can believe you're going to be 87. No. No. Nobody can. It has been, actually, going to be my mission to find you a companion. Now, <laughs> you really don't need to marry at this stage in life, but I really think it would be nice for you to have a companion, to have a gentleman whose company you enjoy. And one thing you may not know about my mother, she is quite savvy when it comes to the dating apps. In fact, her two previous husbands came from Match.com. Sadly, they didn't work out, but that's another video. <laughs> At any rate, Match, Silver Singles, you've tried a couple of them. But I really think that there's something about just sort of the personal connection. And so I'm putting a shout out to all you ladies because really it is about 96% women on this platform. That if you have a dad or if you have a friend who is, what, like 75 plus? I think that's a pretty good range. Yeah, exactly. Right? 75 plus. 75 plus, right. Mm -hmm. No beard, no tattoos, <laughs> elegant. You see, this is the problem that I have. <laughs> you think? This is really the problem. The list that gets I have really long. There, I have certain, I have certain um, you have attributes a, that I like. Criteria. And criteria. And I like intelligence. I like elegance. Okay, so let's just say a smart, healthy, interesting, cultured gentleman without facial hair. Maybe that's a kinder way of putting things. Okay. No tattoos. <laughs> no tattoos. No, right. Ah, wait. No. I got to call you out on that. Dad had two tattoos on his forearms. You're right. And you loved him. You're right. So that was her father. Yeah. So no, you can't say that because you never know. And I that's not fair. That's true. Right? Isn't that funny? I never thought about See? that. See? Exactly. You had a sailboat on one and what, an I anchor. I forgot what he had it on the other one. was a sailboat and an anchor. And he had a mustache. And he had... <laughs> Aha! Aha! <laughs> Funny. Do you want to know something? Funny. What we find I'm sorry out. Sorry, we don't have the picture here. Yeah, but here's the deal. But he was very, very smart, handsome, cultured, interesting. You two really had a lot to talk about. Well, he was brilliant. He was really br brilliant. Okay. He was European. Yeah, I met I met him in Europe. Right. And um, but I think what matters is just compatibility. Compatibility in conversation compatibility and fun you know you the one thing you said that's frustrating you the most about the back break is that you feel like you're prisoner of house you're stuck you want to get out you want to do things you want to go out to dinner you know go see a show whatever you feel stuck and that's why I'm thinking a gentleman companion would be so nice to go do things with and so now we have to figure out how they should reach you because if my, my number is <laughs> wait wait what about what about all you do what about facebook messenger well, all you do is cars is just her youtube video comes out on thursday wait now i've got to manage your dating life on top of <laughs> everything else i do <laughs> no uh-huh i'm putting this on you I think okay, well, I think they should reach out to you on Facebook Messenger. Okay. You have Messenger. I have Messenger. And you're Audrey Toll. Right. And her picture, she's easily recognizable. So, there you go. I think if you have somebody, have them reach out to her. They can talk, they can send her a note, send her a photo, whatever. I mean, obviously, granted, the video is 
global in terms of the audience, but ideally it would be Texas oh, I don't or. I care the... if you're from Australia. I really, really don't. <laughs> I honestly don't. I mean, if you if you qualify, and if you are interesting, and if you're fun, if you qualify, I mean, I'm, I'm it's like a I'm, sweepstakes. I'm really, <laughs> yeah, it is. Like it is. It really is. Oh, that's funny. But why not, right? Why not? Life's short. You know, that's what these things make you realize. Life's short. Good health is everything. Isn't it? As I talk with a mouthful of ice cream. As I sit here in bed. Yes. Good health is everything. But if you right. have your health, you have your mental faculties, you have the joie de vie, you want to live you want to do it's like do go celebrate live right. and there's no age limit and that's why i'm so glad you finally put your age out there because there's no age limit well, guess where you get all that from <laughs> hey, you get that from your mother are you kidding come on give me a break <laughs> no the apple did not fall far <laughs> honey people walk in they look at us and they say oh my god you look just, you look alive. just like like the, I look like my daughter. I know. Is what they, that's hyster, right. That is hysterical. Oh. I, you look just like your. You look just like Dominique. Yeah. I've got to stop. But the most important thing I think I ever did was raising her, really and truly. So it, cheers to my daughter who she's become my mother. How am I doing? Much better than my mother. <laughs> I'll tell you that. <laughs> Absolutely. And anybody who's watching who knows me from, let's say, Philadelphia or Florida from or yonder. whatever, you all know about my mother. Truly was. No, she would have the... been the star of this YouTube channel. My Nana. My Nana yeah, would right. have been the star. There's no question about it. Like, Why would you? Okay, I would give them 24 hours. Anytime they saw each other. <laughs> If we went, if she went to visit, or if Nana came to visit, within 24 hours, it was World War III. And, and my dad and I would just look at the clock and we'd be like, yep, <laughs> there it is. Anyway, we don't, we can go off on a million tangents, right. but I, I think we've got everything covered. However, I'm just... My goal uh, is just to find you a companion. Really. Is that so bad? No, I think it would be great. I think it I would really be. I and truly think it would be great. And considering how much you love spending time on that computer... Now sifting through messages from men or women who think they have a guy for you could be really fun. So, just putting that out there. I, um, She's got three months to kill to heal. After that, all bets are off. Maybe, maybe less. Anyway. You've been a swinging single for a while. It's, it's time. It's time to find a nice companion. So, But I, I've been married several times, so yeah. I'm not... Afraid. This ain't her first I'm rodeo. Not, I'm not afraid. Absolutely <laughs> not. And I have met a couple of girls here. Women. Women that... Are have, you switching teams? Well, no. I've met a couple of women here that have met men oh. on the internet and have married them. Hmm. Love can come from anywhere. My whole mantra is you have to put yourself out there. Right? Like I, like I have a problem doing that. Are you kidding? No. Nope. Anyway. Anyway, I, but I, you're fine. Most I importantly, have, you're fine. Yeah, I'm very open. No, no, no. I mean, you're hip. Getting back to your health. Oh, getting back to my health. Yeah, you're fine. Yeah, no, you're my, back. It's it's almost back. Yeah. And I'll, fi I'll find back. out this week. And we'll we'll so keep everybody I'm, updated. I'm, I'm glad we did this. Me I'm too. really glad. I I love doing this with my daughter. I really and truly do. I think she does a phenomenal job. It's she fun. My work is fun. Not, How lucky is right. that? that right? is, that's right. It, that is exactly work is fun. Right, right. Raising her. Let me tell you something. Raising her was so much fun. Hmm. And now look at me raising you. That's the right. Fun continues. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers to you, baby. Cheers to you, Mama. Absolutely. <laughs> or whatever the role is these days. I don't know. I don't care. We'll see you next week.